Oh, you're here. So, how did the talk with the dignitaries go? As predicted, your highness. I knew it. He wants me to be one of his concubines, doesn't he? He'll use me as a figurehead to rule Jadala. No, your highness. Although the royalty of the Empire usually takes concubines, he has suggested no such thing. Is that so? I should have been prepared for this. What, I'm not even worthy to become one of his concubines? What a piece Actually, of- Actually, your highness, he sent you a formal proposal of marriage, along with some gifts. A proposal of marriage? He wants to marry me? To give me the position of empress? That's what he said. Your Highness, don't give me that look. This outcome is a hundred, no, a million times better than what we were expecting. So what? I should just be happy? Want me to go collapse at his feet? Thank him for giving a Jadolin princess the mere chance to bask in his presence? As if. Send the gifts back. I will not find joy in an offer of marriage from a tyrant. <sighs> Your Highness, we are not exactly in a position to refuse. I know you, Your Highness. I know of the dreams and aspirations you hold dear. I also know that you take your duty seriously, and that you know it is time for you to uphold that duty. For the people. For the people. Thank you. That doesn't mean I have to like him, though. Oh, dignitaries are gathered from far and wide! Oh, what a splendid day! If only Uncle could see you now! I'd rather he didn't. He'd be embarrassed that I'd fallen into such a trap. Rather than that, I believe he'd be proud of you protecting your people. Have you heard the rumors floating around? I don't have time for rumors, Clarivan. Well, many are saying that he's quite handsome. He's always worn a mask when he went into battle, but he took it off when he arrived. The few who've seen him say he looks like an angel descended from above. Wrong direction. What was that, your highness? Nothing. Oh. Right. It seems a ceremony is about to begin. Are you ready, your highness? Don't ask me a question you already know the answer to. Welcome to the great union between two grand nations of power. Today I have the honor of officiating the ceremony between the emperor and the princess of Gadala. That's your cue. Just breathe. Do you promise to love and protect the Highness for the rest of your days? Do you promise to love her in sickness and in health and swear it to the heavens above? And your Highness, do you promise to love and protect his Imperial Majesty for the rest of his days? Do you promise to love and protect him in sickness and in health? And swear it to heaven above. Um, your highness. Ah. Yes. Then, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. No, you may kiss the bride. No. Of course I don't want you to. I was merely... What are you looking at me like that for? I am... beautiful? Uh, I... Your Imperial Majesties! Congratulations on your union! Who am I? Your Majesty, I'm the diplomat you spoke with regarding the marriage. Of course you'd wish to know your wife more. Please, go on ahead, your majesty. Who is he? He just told you. Uh, 
Who is he to me? And why would I tell you that, your majesty? My husband you may be, but that does not give you the right to know every detail of my life. All right. I agree that this conversation isn't one for prying ears. We'll take this elsewhere. Yes? <laughs> Come in. And what exactly is the Almighty Emperor sorry about? <laughs> so, you got dragged away and couldn't come find me. I see. Court officials can be very demanding. That, I know. I thought you had grown tired of me. There is still the ball tonight. To celebrate our union. You... aren't tired of me. That's good to know. Your Majesty, may I speak freely? Ever since you proposed to me, I've been trying to think of a million explanations. Why would an emperor, with almost the entire continent at his bidding, want me, the princess of a smaller, fallen nation, to wed him? You have every option available. Why me? At first, I told myself that maybe you had fallen for me, but... How could that be possible? I've only ever met your majesty at that one festival years ago. I made an impression on you back then. <laughs> Is that so? I did not realize. I wish to see Clarivan. Yes, that man. Why? Am I not allowed to? Well, if I'm allowed to do anything, I want to see him. Again with this question, why do you care about what he means to me? I am merely your wife in name. What do you mean, says who? This is a diplomatic marriage, isn't it? I've read about them. Seen them with my own eyes. The two married are of high status, hold a lavish wedding proclaiming their love, and then procure lovers on the side almost immediately. Fake. That's what they are. That's what we are. That... Isn't how this is going to be? What, your majesty, will you order me to have no lovers? Will you go around with- You will take no lovers. Why? I am more than your wife in just name. You- much different than what I had in mind. Yes, in a good way. Forgive me for assuming something when I shouldn't have, Your Majesty. Oh? Then what am I to call you? What? Dear, that term is much too... All right, I guess it isn't the worst name. 
Oh, don't worry about me. I was just waiting for the maids to arrive so I could put on my dress for the ball. Are you sure? I couldn't possibly trouble you. As you insist. There you go again with the strange compliments. I've just never had someone call me beautiful so frequently. <laughs> they should. Done? Thank you. Ah, oh, look at the time. We must make our way to the ballroom. Would you like to enter separately, or...? Well, I just assumed that we would. All right. Together it is, then. Shall we? Announcing the newlywed emperor and empress. It's beautiful. Why? Do you think it isn't? I get what you mean. Seeing all this too much can make it seem like it's less beautiful than it really is, but we have to keep seeing the beauty in everything. Otherwise, wouldn't life become too boring? <laughs> Wise? Me? <laughs> Thank you. Will I be alright by myself? Why? Alright, the duties of an emperor. Go ahead. Don't worry about me. Your Imperial Majesty? Clarivan, there you are. Are you alright? Yes, of course. Why wouldn't I be? No, no, I didn't mean anything by that. I was just worried. Does he treat you well? I... I think so. Where is he now? Leaving his bride so quickly. He had to meet with some diplomats. Don't worry. He did ask if I would be okay. I'm the one who told him to go. I see. Do you think you'll be happy here? I... I don't quite know yet, but... I do think I have a chance. Oh, there he is. Your Imperial Majesty. What am I doing talking to her? Your Majesty, I believe you've gotten the wrong idea from earlier. Well, you see... Clarivan is my cousin, Your Majesty. A trusted aide. So you can stop looking at him like he's about to take me away. Oh, no need for an apology. If anything, I'm glad that your majesty is willing to protect my cousin from any unfriendly characters. <clears throat> this will be the only time I will speak without courtesy. Your majesty, be good to my cousin. Treat her with respect, or Gadala, with whatever power we have left, will burn your empire to the ground. I'll see you both later. Yes, he is. You didn't exactly allow himself to explain earlier, did you? I never thought the Emperor would apologize to anyone. Only to your Empress? Uh, I need fresh air. Follow me or don't.
You really followed me. I have expected you to leave me be. Well, I don't know. You're nothing like I expected. Yes, still in a good way. Yes, I can hear it. This is one of my favorite dances. Dance with you? Here? On the terrace? All right, your majesty. I'll try not to step on your toes too much. Yes, your majesty, just like that. Now you're a pretty good dancer. I never thought the emperor would be so talented. <laughs> 